guys, I have to redo this video. I'm so upset because um, when I was going to upload it, it was super blurry. And I was like, I cannot upload this crap. So I'm doing it all over again. And it is the um, collection from MAC that just came out last week. So I'm a little, little late on this. Um, the Indulge Collection. So I have seven items from here. I have two lipsticks, a lip gloss, three eyeshadows, and a fluid line. These cats are driving me nuts. Please, someone take a cat. And so, um, I'm just gonna get started with the lipsticks because, um, you know, they're easiest to just swatch. So I have uh, Feed the Senses, which I back to Mac for. This was a luster. And it is so pretty. It's um, really similar to um, Hot Altitude from the Hot Altitude collection. And this is a really pretty mauvey, browny color, but it's, it's sheer because it's a luster. So this goes actually really well with the majority of any of the eyeshadows from the collection. It's really, it's perfect. It's such a nice color. You know, as usual, the lusters are, um, you have to reapply the lusters quite a bit, but this is such a pretty color. And then I picked up, and I actually went back for this lipstick because I don't know why I'm crazy. I didn't pick up the first time. I love um, Dazzle lipsticks. And this is Smash Hit. And this is um, what, a formula I wish they would make permanent because I love all the Dazzle lipsticks. So this is a repromote from um, the Digipop collection which had all the Dazzle Glass collections. I mean lipsticks. So this is just a sheer, um, well it's not really sheer, it's actually pretty pigmented, but it's a, it's a glitter lipstick that's just um, kind of a jizz lip kind of look. This is a Twilight Vampire lipstick. Because this is just a white shimmer with pink glitter in it. So then I have one lip gloss. This is Utterly Tarte. And I kind of, I mean, I wish I picked up some other stuff, but it just didn't work out. So um, this one is just a really pretty berry color with a, like a pink base. And it's a cream, so there's no shimmer in it. And it's such a nice lip gloss. It goes on well by itself. I mean, I, I would wear this, but I have worn it by itself. So it's just so pretty. That's what that looks like. You know, sticky as with all the, um, all the, um, lip glosses. Then I picked up the Fluid Line in Gilt Gourmet, and I will not use this as a liner. That's what that looks like, by the way. Gilt Gourmet. Um, but this is a really pretty, um, gold liner with a lot of glitter, but it's not, um, a gold base. It's actually a clear base, and it's just with glitter, gold glitter in it. So it's not going to be the best liner, in my opinion. Excuse me, but I bought this as a beautiful um, base. So I'm just gonna put that on there. And this will be such a nice base for um, for the eyeshadows. That came with this collection, so pretty. That's what that looks like. I mean, you could totally like wear this underneath your eye, just like, you know, right here for that pop of, you know, just gold, and it's going to be so beautiful. Then I have three eyeshadows, and I picked up, um, first off is Eat Love. This is a satin, and I knew I wanted this right away because it's so pretty. It's such a unique color for MAC. That's what it looks like. I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on the shimmer. But it's a, um, a dark teal with um, teal shimmer in it. But unfortunately, it, it shows up a lot more um, of a dark color if you pack it on. Hold on. You know, it sucks when you do your swatches with your fingers because it's never like really that true to how it will look on your eye. So, well, as you can see, it look at my finger, and that is the color you could probably get better with your brush. I don't want to flip you guys off. That's that. And this is the color how it looks when it's swatched on your hand. So um, actually in the in the store I tested out um, how the eyeshadows looked over the Gilt Gourmet and it is so beautiful. It is just, it sold me on on a, the other eyeshadow that I really wanted. I mean I wanted it but this one like really, you know, just hit it home. And this one is Beluga which is a Velux. And this I think is a star of the eyeshadows. This is what this looks like. 
like if you can see how pretty that is it's a dark base um, a dark brown base but it has an olive -y tone to it but the glitter that's in it it's so pretty it is just it's like if somebody took espresso eyeshadow and then like mixed it with the um, antique gold reflex glitter pigment that MAC has that's what their baby would look like it is so beautiful oh my god I can't even And this is what it looks like on my finger. Whee! So fun. And this is what it looks like swatched. And it's really pretty. You'll have to pack it on your eyes to get that gold glitter. But it's so pretty. I mean, like, like really pretty. You could wear this in the crease. Or I've worn it by itself under the crease. Just, like, all over. It's so beautiful. And then this one I... I I had to think about it a little bit more, but I'm glad I got it. This is a uh, repromo as well. It's Palace Pedigree, and it's a satin. That's what that looks like. It's a really pretty warm plum color, but it's a deep. It has a lot of depth to it. So um, it has a little bit of. In the pan, it looks like it has some shimmer, but I don't think you're gonna see anything. So this is what it looks like on my finger, and then. This is a very, very pigmented um, eyeshadow. So that's just one swipe with the finger. With the finger. And um, the filter. So this is um, a really just gorgeous, gorgeous color. I've worn this in the crease, just in the outer V in the crease, and then just a lighter color, and it was so beautiful. So that is the whole collection that I got, um, seven items. I mean, it's such a beautiful collection. I wish I could have gotten more, but I mean, I don't want to be greedy, so I am very grateful for what I have. It's so beautiful. Highly recommend you guys go check it out. I'm pretty sure like pretty much everything sold out online um, by now, by this point. So um, if you have a counter or a store near you, um, I would go check it out definitely. Um, I'm kind of lucky because I have like a, a Macy's standalone that's not too far away from my that's like literally actually down the street from me and no one goes there so I always go there for like the big collections or any kind of collection that comes out because it's always they're gonna have it no one no one's waiting in line there so that's that it's so pretty go check it out I will talk to you guys later bye